So, man, it's time for us to go ahead and start another round of what we like to call. What is it? Well, a potato, a potato. Oh, I like the shirt. <laughs> yes, that's a big disappointment. So hot potato or not potato, but the nice thing is this company actually reached out to us. So we've got high hopes. The company is Vegu. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it proper. They actually supplied us with a couple of their microphones, but let's take a look at the condenser microphone for the VM30. I've got to show it here to you all. Beautiful box, nice packaging. I'm going to go ahead and bring it down here out of your view. So that way you can't see it. Uh, they have support email address here on the side also vegutech.com clear sound plug and play cardioid pattern okay so this is good let's go ahead and crack it open all righty so already i see we've got the instruction manual very thick but it's in various languages, so okay. that's probably Makes part sense. of the reason. Next one out is, looks like a USB-C cord, but it has two heads on it though. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and open it up and see how this looks. Yeah. So look, there's like a separation, you see? It's like a short USB-C to USB, and then it has a longer USB-C. So essentially, like if you like charge like your Amazon Fire tablet, like this is what is used for that. Um, but all right, so we've got the cord, which it's nice and long. I, I, if I were to guess, it's definitely longer. It's probably about five foot, six maybe foot. six foot. foot. Yeah, probably closer to six foot. All right. And let me go ahead and pull this out of the package. Ooh, it looks like the microphone's already in, like put together. So there's no assembly required. And that was it inside the box. I'm just gonna go ahead and set this off to the side. So, <laughs> so that so that big box just for the mic of the cable. Right, and, right. Uh, so, so take a look over. here. I mean, oh, okay. And it actually has a tripod that you can open up for here. So I'm just gonna show it here on the desktop. That's still kind of tilted, so I'm just gonna tilt it down into place and then just lock it. But you'll notice like there's like a pop filter in front of it. Where it's built in. Yeah. There's a mute button up front. It has, of course, this tripod, but it looks, let me, let me see if I can take it off. Yes. So in the event for some reason that I want to mount this on my Gatorworks uh, mic boom, it, it would work out. Hmm. So you can use either or, but I like how can, how small it is. You know, this is really compact. So if you're working on very limited real estate, it looks like it would really work out. The very bottom of the mic has a volume knob or actually kind of a uh, volume dial. There we go. It has an N for headphones. So that way you can be able to hear and the USB-C um, port. So that's where that would end up plugging into that. So. Let me go ahead. I'll plug in the USB-C. Oh, look at that. It actually comes out of the, the mount. So it's actually being held together by like these little plastic rubber bands that are inside this right here, uh, which is kind of cool. That suspension will create some shock absorption. I used to have uh, one very similar to it with my Rode NT1A. The Rode NT1A had yeah. that shock absorption because obviously if you're typing on your desktop, you don't want every last keystroke showing up on your microphone or in yeah, the like audio. Mine, like mine has. Mine has the spider shock mount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going to go ahead and plug that in. All right. They say it's plug and play. Stand by. All righty. So it's already come on. There's a light that kind of came on to where like that mute button's at. I don't have it. Let's see here. I want to turn up the volume. I'm going to kick it up to just below 100% capacity. Now, Dale, I'm going to assume that the volume knob once again controls the output for the headphones. Hmm. So it's not going to be something I like gain. No, I don't think it's a gain knob. Give me just a second because I screwed this back in completely all jabberwocky 
That's not even a word. I'm just going to run with it today. Kelly does that all the time. She just makes up words. Great. It's plugged in. So why don't we take this for a test run? Okay. So right now you're hearing me on the VM30. Dude. What are your thoughts? <laughs> that's pretty, that's pretty good, dude. Yeah? Dude, okay. Dude, dude uh, yeah. At first I was, I was skeptical when you had it just sitting on the desk because it didn't yeah. have that echoey tinny sound almost like mine does because if i have it too far away mm -hmm. but yeah as soon as you uh put it up to your mouth about the same distance as the sure microphone yeah it sounded pretty good so it sounds pretty good at this so what let me go ahead let me put it on the desktop now so this is not more than about two feet in front of me how does this yeah. sound now is it is it's it not, too washed out it's not horrible it's not okay. horrible so yeah so it sounds almost like when we're doing live streams and I have the microphone right here. So this time around for hot potato, not potato, I'm actually gonna have to rely on you and your opinion on what you kind of think about this. So this is the USB condenser microphone. It's rather compact. I think you and I could both agree like this doesn't take up very much room. It was super easy to set up. Um, it comes with its own instruction manual, but to be honest, like I don't see that there needs it, to be any additional instructions. No, and my thing is, is uh, if you were running it through, say, OBS or uh, Streamlabs OBS or whatever, with a mm -hmm. little bit of tweaking, you really could dial that in. Yeah. Like, I, I think, yeah. Uh, the only thing that I kind of notice is uh, that without the tweaking or whatever, that it, you can probably, like the distance you have it right now compared to the Shure microphone, there is a little bit distort uh, when you're hitting your peaks or whatever. Ooh. And so that, that might just, because keep in mind that this is just a natural setting that I, I, yeah, I've, I haven't done any boosting. It's going directly yeah. in there. So chances are very likely that um, I would want to come tweak it. Yeah, but, you'd be able to clean it up. I, I really do. I really feel that. that uh, now, what are we talking about as far as price point on this uh, microphone? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a second. Good question. No, this can't be right. No. What? What? What's the price? It's $30. Oh, wow. Still dude that's thirty dollars thirty dollars for this not potato not potato yeah so is, hot potato or not potato what is your that, verdict that's a not that's a not potato just because of the price point that is a not potato so if you're looking for like an entry level microphone you are strapped for cash I, I would snatch that in a heartbeat not even thinking about it because the fact that i think uh with a little bit of fine tuning or whatever uh through any kind of recording uh process or streaming process you should be able to uh tweak that Nice. What do you folks think about this specific microphone? Hot potato or not potato? Uh, it seems like Walt's pretty happy with it. Normally, I'm pretty happy when he does that. Let us know inside the comments down below. Till later, make sure you stay tuned because we're actually going to have a second microphone that's an upgrade from the VM30 called the VM50.